Bonjour tout le monde et bienvenue à Learn French by Sucheta. Je m'appelle Sucheta, votre enseignante de la langue française et dans cette vidéo, on va apprendre le verbe devoir. Le verbe devoir. So, let's begin with the conjugation of the verb, le verbe devoir. Now, if you remember in the previous two videos, we have learned le verbe vouloir et le verbe pouvoir. Now, we are learning the verb devoir. What do you mean by the verb devoir? Which means have to, when there is compulsion that I have to do this thing. For example, I have to uh, do my homework or I must do my homework. So that is have to or must. So let's begin with the conjugation je, je dois. Je dois, tu dois, il doit, don't pronounce S, S, T, T, non. Il doit, elle doit, elle c'est féminin, on doit, on doit, nous, nous devons, vous devez, ils doivent, doivent, ils doivent et elles doivent. Allez, il faut répéter. Je dois, tu dois, il doit, elle doit, on doit, nous, nous devons, vous devez, ils doivent et elles doivent. Now, if we focus upon the meanings of this, then je dois. Je means I. Je dois, which means I have to or I must. Tu, tu dois, tu, on utilise pour informel. Allez, tu dois, you have to or you must. Il doit. Il doit, which means he has to or he must. Elle doit, elle doit, which means she has to or she must. On doit, on doit, they have to or we must. Nous devons, we have to or we must. Vous devez, vous devez, which means you have to, you all have to, if you're using it in Plural sense, okay? Ils doivent, ils doivent, that means they must. Masculine or if there is a mixed uh, group of masculine and feminine, then we use ils doivent et après elles doivent. Elles doivent, which means they have to. Now, if you have not watched my previous videos of the verb vouloir and pouvoir, I'm giving you the link in the card above. Please go and watch those videos and then come back to this video again. Now that we have already learned the conjugation of the verb devoir, we are now going to learn its usages. So if you remember the verb vouloir, it had two usages. Après le verbe vouloir, on peut avoir un nom, we can have a noun, ou on peut avoir un verbe à l'infinitif. And if you remember the verb pouvoir, I told you, it has only one usage, that after the verb pouvoir, we can have only the verb in its infinitive form. Similarly, après le verbe devoir, we can have only the verb in its infinitive form. So after the verb devoir, we cannot have a noun. We would have a verb in its infinitive form. So these are some of the examples that I've written. Il doit faire son devoir aujourd'hui. Il doit faire son devoir aujourd'hui. That means he has to do his homework today. Or he must do his homework today. Now, if you see carefully, here also I've used devoir. But here it's a noun, it's not a verb. Now, here devoir means homework. And here devoir means the verb devoir, which means uh, have to or you can say must. So, il doit faire son devoir aujourd'hui. That means he has to do his homework today. Après, je dois aller à l'école. Je dois aller 
à l'école. That means I must go to school. I have to go to the school. So après le verbe devoir, je n'ai pas conjugué le verbe. I have not conjugated the verb faire ou aller. Après, vous devez acheter du bois parce qu'il fait très froid. Parce qu'il fait très froid. Which means because it is very cold. Vous devez acheter du bois. Bois means wood. You have to buy some wood because outside it is very cold. So, vous devez acheter du bois parce qu'il fait très très froid. Allez, on doit travailler dur. On doit travailler dur, which means we must work hard. So, après le verbe devoir, je n'ai pas conjugué le verbe acheter, travailler. Ce sont des verbes à l'infinitif. Après, nous devons partir en voyage. Nous devons partir en voyage, which means we have to or we must leave on a trip or on a journey now these are the few examples that i've written again i would repeat you have to make the sentences and you can mention in the comment section below so that whenever i get time i would read them and i would surely try to correct them hey everyone like every month we are starting with our new online skype batches for delf a1 delf a2 delf b1 and tef canada from 1st of august 2019 details are mentioned on the screen and for further query or any information and enrollment you can call us on the number being displayed on the screen and i'll see you very soon with the next video till then au revoir a bientôt et bisous bisous